morning. My name is Brendan Cole. I'm an RN and an implementation manager with Care Fisher. Um, today I'm going to go over the Android version of the uh, Care uh, Care Visit app. Um, I'll show you how to use uh, all the different functions. Um, before I get to the app, you do have to log in online to set up your uh, password. Um, you cannot log into the app using a temporary password, so be sure to go to our website ams.carefishinginc.com and you can go ahead and um, set up your personal password. Once that's complete, you can go to the app uh, or your device, go to the App Store. Uh, for the Android, it's going to be that Google Play Store. And then you can search for CareFishing or Care Visit Service Notes. Uh, you'll see our app here with our logo. And go ahead and install it. This does take a second on my computer. Um, once you install it, you are going to have to give it permission for your device's location services. You will also need to give it permission to be able to record audio in case we need you do uh, verbal signatures. And you'll hit allow. Again, you're going to type in your org code. It's going to be the same one you use online. Uh, in your case, it's going to be LMBH3106. And then use your username that you were set up with and the password that you created. The very first time you log in, you do need to be on Wi-Fi because you are going to download your agency service notes at that point. When you log in, you're also going to download uh, your schedule for that moment. Uh, so make sure when you first log in, be on Wi-Fi any time after that. Um, you can just use the cellular data. It doesn't use much to download your schedule. And you'll choose to sign in. You're going to get a first download. It's going to come up if it's prompted asking you permission. Go ahead and give it permission. And this does take a second, so I'll pause right here until uh, this is downloaded. Okay, now that that's downloaded, you're going to see what the, um, the main screen looks like. Over here on the, the left, you see the EVV function. Uh, this is where you can track the mileage um, and travel duration as well as uh, the location services. So we, we know that you're in the home whenever you start your visit. Um, and I'll go into greater detail on those in a minute. Um, over here on the right, you do have patient fact reports, which will show you some of the patient basic information, their demographics, doctors, um, medications, and things like that. So you could print the patient fact report. Um, then you have your service note icon over here, and then the logout icon over here. Um, so on your typical visit, what you're going to do is you're going to start your mileage when you're headed to the patient's house, and then you're going to find your patient's uh, name and date of service. So I'm going to come to today's date. Um, it will show uh, visits from the past that have not been addressed yet. And these are just uh, test patients in here that we've been working with. Um, you're going to pick your date of service and then your type of visit. And then you're going to hit start driving. This is going to just capture your GPS for the, that split second that you hit the button. We don't track you the whole time. It's just your starting point. And then it timestamps it. Uh, once you get to the patient's home, you would hit stop mileage, and that will end your mileage. And pardon me, my uh, this is an Android emulator um, on a Windows computer, so sometimes it acts a little weird. Your devices will not do that. Okay, once you're in the patient's home and you uh, are, you see the patient, you are able to provide services, you're going to hit Start Care. Again, you're going to find your patient name and the correct date of service. And you won't have all these uh, visits in the past. Um, when you guys are uploading your notes, they'll start disappearing um, every time you log in. So then, you're, again, you're going to pick your patient. You are going to confirm it, hit Start Care. And then that, again, is going to track uh, where you're at, your location at that time, and then what time 
uh, you're starting your care. Okay. Uh, the next thing you would do is go over here to the service notes and you'd click on that. And again, you're going to find the correct data service and the correct patient name. So I'm going to pick, pick that same service, same date, and then again, you're going to have to confirm. Then it's going to ask you what type of visit uh, note you're going to use. Um, in your case, you're going to use the hospice aid visit note, so you click on this one and again confirm that. Then it is going to bring you into your note. Once you get into your service note, this is the patient header section. You're going to see your data service, patient name, and the service type um, that you're doing. You'll see that there's a section. Um, you're going to be on the patient header section. If you do click on that, you can switch to a different section. Um, but typically, when you first come into your note, um, you're going to put your time in. Even though you did it with the EVV portion, you need to do it with this as well, which would, should match up with the EVV. Okay, and once you get your time in, typically you don't know your time out and you, you don't want to finish the rest of this until you're done with your notes. So over here um, to the top uh, right side of the screen, there's the next button. You can click on that and it's going to take you to your hospice aid plan of care tasks. So. Uh, the nursing will develop the plan of care, and whatever it is that they're uh, asking you to perform for this patient or client, you're going to see those right here. Um, you will need to um, click on these little drop-down boxes and um, mark whatever applies for this patient. You've completed it. It wasn't applicable this visit. Patient or caregiver refused, noted, or unnotified. Um, you're going to click on that and hit update. Now it's going to move you directly to the next section, which is the comments uh, section for um, the bed bath that we just did. So if you have any comments that you need to um, um, enter, and you would just hit update, and it's going to move you to the next one, which was the assist with dressing, et cetera. And it's going to be patient specific. Um, for each patient. Um, so answer everything and just go through this. I'm just going to skip for the sake of time entering any comments. And then once you're done with that section, you can move to the next section. In uh, your service note, you have a narrative section as well, so you can enter any kind of narrative you want and you can type in as much information as you want. Um, once you're done with filling out your note, you're done with your visit, um, you can go back to the patient header and supply section, and you can go ahead and enter your timeout. Just click on the timeout, okay, and hit OK. Um, you can enter travel duration and mileage is here, and any other additional comments you might have for uh, the service time in and out or mileage. Um, for the associate signature, you're going to click on this not required, and you're going to choose electronic, and then you're going to click on the blue associate signature. You're going to get a little pop-up uh, box that you can sign your name in with your full credentials and hit add signature. You're only going to have to do that the very first time that you sign a service note. Then every time that you choose electronic signature, it's going to remember what your signature was. Uh, for the patient signature, you're going to click on Manage Patient Signature. Um, you're going to choose under the Enter Signature, you're going to choose Electronic, as long as you have touch screen devices, and then you're going to hit Enter Signature. The patient will sign in the little box just like you did, and then you can hit Add Signature. Now, these are time-stamped. You don't see those time-stamps here, but whenever your service note is uploaded, it's going to be uh, display those time-stamps if they need to um, uh, print out that service note. So once you're done with your note, you can come up here and hit Complete, and you're, and you're done with your note. Might take just a second.
okay, you're going to get a little pop-up window that says, are, are you sure you want to complete this? No, because you'll no longer be able to edit it. You do have the option to edit this online if needed, or if your note has uh, gone through QA and they want you to make some adjustments to your documentation, all of that's going to be done online after that. Once you actually upload these service notes, they no longer are going to be available on the app to, to address. Uh, so you are going to continue, and then your assessment is marked as complete. Now, if you do want to upload your service note right now, you do have this upload link. Um, you do have to have cellular data or Wi-Fi available at that time, but you, do, you can just upload them all at once at the end of your day, and I'll show you how to do that. So when you're done with your note, you're going to hit the back button, and then you're going to come over here and hit End Care. And then that's how you enter a service note. Now, to get the EVV information on, up, uploaded to CareFish, you'll need to hit end day, and you do need to either have Wi-Fi or cellular data when you do that. Um, for your service notes, if you hit log out, it's going to um, ask you if you want to upload your service notes, and you're going to confirm and say yes. Uh, I'll show you that in just a second. The other thing I wanted to show you is up here in the top right, you do have an additional menu. Um, if you do have Wi-Fi or cell cellular data access, you could access our website directly. Um, you would not enter your service notes there. Again, you're going to want to use this app for everything other than making edits after your notes have been uploaded. Um, this app does work offline other than when you log in, log off, you hit end day, um, or you choose to download or upload data on your own. All the rest of the time, it's going to be offline. Uh, that being said, that if there is a change in your schedule um, since you've logged in last, the office will need to notify you, um, and you will need to come to this menu to download your schedule so you can get those updated changes. Um, when you very first logged in the very first time and you were on Wi-Fi, you did download all of your service notes that are available. If your agency ever chooses to make changes to those service notes, um, you, will be ha you will be instructed to come to this menu and download those uh, new service note forms. Um, you have the option to upload data. You can view your EVV activity. Um, you can ignore that one. Uh, you can up upload completed forms, but those are for patient forms that you guys will not be using. Uh, you can log off from here. Uh, do not choose to remove data unless CareFishent tells you to. Uh, that would be a last-ditch effort to correct any errors. Um, and then if there is any issues, you, we may ask for your device info. If you come in here and you click on My Device Info, it will tell us what device you're using um, and what version of the operating system you're using, which is very important. Again, it needs to be above 7.1 for the Android. And then the last thing is always make sure you're updating your apps, especially the CareFishing app, because if we do um, make enhancements or, or fixes, um, we we do need you guys to upload uh, or update your app to the current version. Uh, so we may even ask you what version of the app you're using if you're having trouble. So this would be identified right here. Okay, so at the end of the day, you can hit end day. Again, you want to have cellular data or Wi-Fi. And that's going to upload that EVV information. Um, and then it's going to ask you if you want to upload your, your notes as well, and you are going to confirm. And then you'll pick your note. Choose Upload. Um, again, confirm that, and it's going to upload those service notes. So the uh, so going back online, you can see my visit for uh, today, 3:20, um, does show that it is in a complete status, so everything was uploaded correctly. Um, just so you guys know, if, if you do not answer something um, that is marked as required within the service note in the app, when you upload it, even if you complete it in the app, it will be marked as an incomplete assessment online. Um, so you will need to come online if instructed and complete your note. Um, and the way to do that would be just to come online, find your uh, open service note, click on the visit, and choose edit the page service note. Um, then you can make any corrections that you need to make and recomplete it online. Um, and just just to show you as well, that EVV information does show up under the EVV tab um, for the start time, stop times. 
um, so that the agency administrators can view that information as well as there is um, also an EVV tab for each associate that will show their specific EVV information. Under the patient, you're only going to see the patient information for your EVV um, and of course the associates that provided that. But that is that concludes how you use the EVV app. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, make sure you give your, uh, you know, the app permissions to use the GPS and audio if, if uh, when you first install it to make sure the app works. Otherwise, it will not even run. Um, it does need those permissions. Um, but that concludes our training for today. If you need uh, have any follow-up qu questions, please contact your administrators and uh, they'll get a hold of us if they need to. All right. Thanks a lot.